So quick little video here, just feeding some coconut, some old footage when we first got Figsy and Percy in 2013. Figsy was in the cage first four years of her life. I'd say she's probably been beaten around by me because she's still very scared of me and most men in general. Percy, still doing good. We passed him on to a little mini farm in York Peninsula. Uh, lady loved, loved him and gave him to her. And he's having, doing well. And let's see what Figsy's up to. Here's some more recent footage so you can see she's calmed down quite a bit for these doing some ingredients reading there. So Trixie's definitely chilled out a lot, she's still very nervous so uh, not as neurotic as first but sometimes we'll be out and she'll see a small dog and she'll run off. She likes to eat cliff bars as does Freely. And but she walks around the shop alright. So she doesn't really panic or tug on the lead. That a lot of sudden we sniff around called the rubber nose because the nose is always twitching, always sniffing something. See, so it's sort of semi relaxed tail, not too far between the legs. <laughs> but when she sees me, it goes between the legs a lot. A little figsy. So, that's what a lot of breeding dogs basically live a life in a cage and they even get put down because the moment most people don't have the time and energy to sort of rehab a dog. Uh, I definitely think that it's a crazy industry, the, the whole breeding industry. It's a sort of side people don't really see what happens afterwards. Little Figsy. Figsy's alright if I'm laying down. She doesn't mind if I'm uh, in a submissive position. She doesn't get too anxious there. And But she loves Freely. She follows Freely around all day. No to worry. A little dog. We take her for daily walks and she loves to run. Having fun with little Figs. <laughs> little tail wag there. Yeah, Figsy. Still not too sure of me.